So another critical issue about the movement system is why does it really matter to the patients and then I would say even to the public. And, and I think there are, are multiple reasons. Number one, we have a huge discrepancy in the, the strategies and the quality of care that's delivered by physical therapists. Some because of time pressures, some because they still think the physician needs to tell them exactly what to do. By taking on this identity and all the ramifications of the movement system and understanding this expertise in our body of knowledge, it should bring more cohesion to the profession. If we use diagnostic categories, then patients will know why they're coming to us. So that in, in many ways, it will also enable us also to really focus on the movement aspects and not looking at the pathoanatomy and this small item of can you relieve the pain right now. And I think one of the most important things that's, that's going on in, in healthcare, and uh, it, it, it's kind of fun for me because I've kind of watched it emerge from 1964 when people first identified that cigarette could, smoking cigarettes could cause cancer, that lifestyle became part of an issue. And I think what, what we can help sell to the public is that the way you move, the way you align yourself, are all important aspects in whether you develop early or late musculoskeletal pain or how severe it becomes. I am totally convinced it's also important as to how good an athlete you'll be. You, you can't put yourself in weird alignments and keep yourself there and then have optimal performance from your musculoskeletal system. So I, I am so committed to the idea that physical therapists need to become lifespan practitioners. And, and the other thing that's so critical is that we all know how important exercise is, is to your health. I, I've, I've heard it said, and I think it's getting well documented, that the lack of activity and obesity is inducing as many cancers as cigarette smoking. So exercise and activity are, are crucial. And I also believe that you need an expert to help direct that, to identify your structural variations, to make sure you're doing the right activity, that you're getting the right result. I think in some ways how amazing it is that we go to the dentist twice a year, we spend thousands of dollars to get our teeth straight, and we only do two things with them, and that's eat and talk. And your whole body has a myriad of responsibilities to carry out every day, and we don't bother to get it monitored. And yet here we are with our expertise, and we could fill that bill and help the public stay healthier in general, general health, as well as reduce the incidence and severity of musculoskeletal pain, and what a cost savings that would be for our society. So I think all of this has tremendous implications for the public, for our patients, as well as for the profession itself.